What is going on guys? It is the Phantom Michael and we are doing our rank our starter video. Um, if you guys notice a lot of other Poketubers are doing it. So the Phantom Michael is going to let you guys know what my opinion is on every single starter choice. So we are going to be starting off with Gen 1 and working our way all the way to Gen 8. So let's do it. Um, up first, obviously we're looking at Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Um, I'm honestly the OGs number one. I've played through the game with only like, obviously I've I've used all of them in some way or another. I've used all of them, but my absolute favorite, my absolute favorite, um, dude, I I gotta be a Gen Oneer here, man. I'm being a Gen Oneer right now, and I am telling you right now that I will pick Charmander, 190 percent of the time. I will pick Charmander 190% of the time. Bulbasaur is being dropped all the way to number three. Just because that's how I feel. That's just how I feel. I ain't going to lie to you guys. I love all three of them. I really do. But Charmander is my favorite. And I don't even... I want to do a ranking system next of everybody that's going to be on top of the end of this. Because I don't even know what it's going to be. I really don't. I just... Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur for Gen 1. That's that's just how it is for me. That's how it is. Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur. Gen 2. Let's look at it. Okay. Um, tell you right now that Totodile is my favorite. So it's going on top. And Chikorita is on the bottom. 100%. Um... I like all three of these. I really think the designs are really cool. Chikorita is super cute. Don't get me wrong. But I just, I freaking love Totodile. I love, love Cinequil. But, like, the cute factor for Chikorita doesn't win it for me as being, like, a like a Pokemon that I would love to use, you know? I've, I've be, I have never played the game all the way through with Chikorita. I'll be honest. But I have played it with Totodile and Chimchar. Oh, Chimchar, what the f... <laughs> Cynical, stupid. Um, but yeah, Totodile is my favorite, and you know, Cynical sits right there. It's beautiful, awesome Pokemon. Um, but I just hey, I, that's my order right there: Totodile, Cynical, Chikorita. All right, Gen three. This one right here is really hard for me because I have beaten the brakes off of Gen three with all three of these amazing Pokemon. And I love, love, love all of them. The only thing that I will say about uh, Trico is number one. Trico is absolutely number one. However, uh, Mudkip and Tur <laughs> Mudkip and Torchic are kind of fighting each other right now because I really like both of them. However, I will say that Mudkip trumps Torchic in my opinion. For me, just because. I really, really, really like Swampert more than I do Blaziken. But nothing beats Sceptile. Nothing beats Sceptile. So, that's my Gen 3. Gen 4. Gen 4 is another difficult one. I've played the game with everyone. However, Torterra. Torterra beats it right there. Torterra takes the cake. Um... Turtwig, picking Turtwig is amazing. I love running the whole curse set on it. I really, really, really enjoyed playing Gen 4 with Turtwig. Um, Chimchar was fun too. I remember, I think Chimchar was my very first one that I picked for Gen 4. And then as I played through it again, I picked Turtwig and I really fell in love with Turtwig. I think it came from Torterra in the anime. But I, after, after I played one full game... With Turtwig, it was every every chance I got to use a Turtwig, I used it. I even competitively competitively bred a Turtwig, so like that's that just shows how devoted I am to, to Turtwig. That uh, Turtwig is it. Uh, Chimchar is cool. Chimchar is really cool. Um, but like as for third and second, I think it's perfect where it is. Chimchar can sit right there, and Piplup can fall short. I love Empoleon. Don't get me wrong, Empoleon's really cool. But it's underneath Infernape, in my opinion. Gen 5. Gen 5 is a little interesting. I've played the game with everyone. Again, I know Snivy's a fan favorite. I know Tepig's, you know, eh. And 
Everyone hates Samurott. They really do. But I will tell you right now that I the very first Pokemon that I picked in Gen 5 was Oshuot. And I I love me some Oshuot. I'm not going to lie. Snivy is definitely my number two. And Tepig is the last one because I don't like Imbor at all. I do not like Imbor. Um, the very first first full playthrough I did using Tepig, I didn't really enjoy myself. But when I played Black 2, White 2 with Oshuot, it was outstanding. And then when I played, I can't remember which one I played first. It was a Black 2 or White 2. But the second time I played it, I picked Snivy, and it was just as cool. But Oshuot has a place in my heart. I'm sorry, y'all. Oshuot. Gen 6 is a little different for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this Chespin way down here. Because I don't like Chespin. Froki is my number one choice. I know everyone, for some reason, is like, Froki is sweet. Finnegan's cool. If you guys want to talk about shiny Pokemon, Finnegan shiny. If I had to, if I need to look at everyone's shiny just to be 100% sure, but I think if I had to pick between anyone's shiny, it would be Finnegan, dude. Finnegan shiny is super, super sweet. Like, that is an awesome Pokemon. Finnegan shiny is awesome. Um, Froki, though, man, Froki protein, protein, however you guys pronounce it. Awesome. Froki is freaking cool. And I love me some Greninja. Um, so, yeah, definitely Froakie, Finnegan, Chessman for me. Um, Gen 7. This is one, I will say. Oh, holy crap. It actually landed in. I did not play. Gen 7 is where, like, obviously Pokemon for me went up, down, and then back up again. Um, but I have only played the game all the way through with Rowlet. Um, I do have one competitive um one competitive of each of these but it's it's got to be rowlet man rowlet's my number one choice of course litten is cool litten shiny sweet um popular definitely on the bottom for me for sure but um it landed actually perfect i think this one this one in uh, gen 7 and gen 4 landed correct for me um rowlet's amazing i love rowlet litten's super sweet too so, yeah, that that's right there. Okay, now for the Galar region, the game that we have not played yet. Um, yeah, here it goes. This right here, I'm telling you who my starter is going to be. My starter in Gen 8 is going to be Sobble. I don't care what you say. Sobble is it. Uh, Grookey. Um, Grookey's on the bottom, man. Grookey is 100% on the bottom of this list just because I just don't think he's as cool as the other three. Uh, other two. The hell? Um, Score Bunny. Hate the name. Everyone hates the name. Like the concept. I think he's really cool. So Score Bunny is definitely the one that I'm, you know, number two. If When I play through it again, it's going to be Score Bunny next time. But, uh, yeah, that's my list. It's pretty interesting that I have. I pick more water than anyone else. And then, obviously, you know grass type so kind of only one fire type really like took the cake for me what do i have i have more grass on the bottom like the very last than anything fire is kind of like my middle ground i guess but i guess water i'm actually surprised that i'm gonna pick more water types than anything um so yeah that is my list right there guys um i obviously i, I had a lot more to say about all the other pokemon than we do gen 8 just because we haven't played the game yet, I have no idea what these guys are going to evolve into. Maybe my opinion will change when I see evolutions. But based on what the starters look like right now, we got Sobble, Score Bunny, and Grookey. That's how it is. All right, you guys. Um, go ahead. If you guys are interested in making this list, I'll try to tag the, uh, the links that I found in the description. So, yeah, feel free to do this with me and let me know what you guys think and who you guys' starter choices are. Um... Now, if we flip this whole thing around and we're like, who's your favorite out of these guys, top eight, that would be a war within myself that I don't know if I could answer right now. So, yeah. All right, you guys. I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here, and I will see you guys in the next one.